How to add a C wire to any 24 volt two wire system. So these two wires are R and W wires to our thermostat. They used to land right here and then now we have our C wire adapter. So you can see I added this third wire to create our C wire. And I will show you how to do it. So I'm going to remove this access panel to get to our transformer. Also, I'm going to flip off the breaker. First off, you can see our wiring diagram. We have 240 volts AC being turned into 24 volts AC via this transformer. Then the R wire goes off to the thermostat through this terminal strip. Then the W wire only turns into the W wire, honestly, after it hits this resistive load of the sequencer. Once it goes through the sequencer, it becomes your W wire and turns into this yellow wire that goes off to the thermostat. The thermostat flips the switch, allows current to flow through this resistive load, heats up that coil and kicks the, the sequencer in. So, before it flows through this resistive load, this wire is actually your C wire. So, we look at our transformer and we have one wire that goes straight up to that terminal strip. And then we have another wire that lands. Try to get a good view of it. That lands on this bus bar for the sequencer. Let me zoom in here. It lands on this bus bar for the sequencer. Okay, and then all these wires or all these terminals are jumpered together on this side of the sequencer. So all of these terminals are at the same potential. That then, let's zoom out a little bit, that zoomed in a little too much. Then we come over here. And again, we have this side all jumpered together. And then right here is your W wire coming out. So to create a C wire, all we have to do is put another wire onto this sequencer. So we have one side of the transformer coming up into the sequencer. Jumpered together through this bus wire jumper. And now I've added this wire, it's kind of a mess. Added this wire that goes up. I drill the hole through the through the panel of the furnace because my terminal strip only has two uh, terminals on it. So we can see this red wire comes over here and it lands that's the wrong side. It lands into this C terminal.
And then your R and W wires come over to your thermostat. And also the, the R and W wires from the the transformer are coming over and flowing into the R and W wires of this power connector. Or C wire adapter. So If we go over to our thermostat, oh, no. my old thermostat was locked, so I'm just put it in the same place and cut the lock. It's pointless to lock this one because anybody can use Google to change it. So if we so come with our here. thermostat and go down. Select the settings, go to equipment, go to power info. We have 36 volts going to it. The reason why it's 36 volts is there's not a whole lot of, a, of a resistive load. So I probably put a resistor across the terminals of maybe the C and the R wire. Maybe like a 1K resistor, but the Nest thermostat seems to be functioning fine the way it is getting 36 volts.